There's a growing recognition that many of the complex challenges today require international collaboration. And this requires us to think differently and act differently than we normally have. And by thinking differently, that means going beyond disciplinary questions that researchers have normally looked at to thinking about problem solving. And acting differently means funding research in different ways. And that poses a challenge both to the research community and to organizations like IDRC that support research. Research funding agencies have a role to play in supporting international research. Historically, funding agencies have been interested in supporting research within their borders. And this has caused or required researchers to be very creative in the way in which they go about researching. There's been the rise of print, journals, the internet have always fostered this. But there are challenges to the way in which researchers can tackle these global issues. If you could start a research program from scratch, you'd want to pull the best people from around the world to work on an issue together. But when you think about how one funds this research, you hit a roadblock. About 2005, IDRC began a conversation working with many Canadian funding agencies and government departments to think about how we get over this funding gap. And there was a lot of interest in this, in part because of the, domestically there was a lot of interest in Canada on working internationally, and there was an interest in IDRC working with the best Canadian science. Emerging from these discussions was the rise of some new programs and collaborations that enabled IDRC and other Canadian funding agencies to pool their resources together and enable international collaborations. This research is important because problems don't respect borders, but borders have been fairly good at preventing researchers from collaborating. And I think if you can imagine collaborations accelerating discovery and promoting learning, you get at the core as to why this is an important endeavor. Uh, let me take an example of uh, a project that's going on in the Canadian prairies and in the prairies in, in South America. This is a climate change project led by Dave Sochin from the University of Regina. And there's a recognition from his research on the prairies that we have an increasing vulnerable weather patterns. This is bringing more drought with interspersed periods of flooding. And this is making access to water for farmers all that more vulnerable. The science is pointing to this, and he wants to know whether or not that same science is replicating itself in the Americas. Similarly, they would be very interested to know how his research is informing how they do, how they begin to inform public policy. And on top of that, to bring in the learning from all of this, they're needing to work with water stewardship councils and farmers in both countries to see where is the innovation on how to respond to this uh, water vulnerability in these societies. And so through this collaboration, they're able to design science and they're able to promote learning across countries and amongst these organizations that are experimenting with a very new, uh, with climatic uh, conditions which they have hitherto not addressed before.